Hello everybody, HK here, watching episode 3 of season 3 of LDLP. The third reset since I have been playing on the LD Shadow Lady public fan server. Today I'm wearing my zombie outfit. Zombie skin. Scared the hell out of Baggins though. <laughs> that is pretty good. Alright. And I did a few things over here. So we went ahead and made a little campfire area. Some little logs to sit on and stuff. And we got some piled up here for wood fire. These two. Now I did add my uh, pumpkin minions from the last server. I got two of them over here so far. They're like the little security guards. I made me a little grill and this is actually uh, quartz slabs and chiseled quartz blocks. Oh fuck. I'm gonna kill you. Gymnastics boots. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to put those on. Alright, and then I put two wood pressure plates and then I got a trap door here. Now, the tech pack looks a little bit different because it wouldn't work for the server textures uh, when I logged in. So I uh, got the actual texture pack. It is, um, it tells me here somewhere. Chroma Hills, I believe it's called. Yeah, Chroma Hills. So there's like a little, I think the only difference is that it has a hole in it. It still looks pretty good. I did add a little flamingo, and this is done. There's zombies over there. I went ahead and, uh, this is green wool. But, when I did this, I ran out of it. Because it wouldn't let me dye any color but white. And this is actually snow. And, uh, green stained clay. That's what it looks like in this texture pack. Now you come on in. And I got some leftovers and some minecarts and shit. Got the bed. Oh, he has a. I'm gonna kill him. All right, cool. I did find this bow on the ground. Infinity one, unbreaking five. That's pretty good. And I got uh, one of them a diamond sword. Now I got a vein of Arthropod four and fire step two. Pretty shitty. Now this is a trap door, and uh, I got rid of the other entrance over on the other side. So you can no longer see my base from there. This is the only way to see under it. And what it is like, see the piston, you click this, it doesn't do anything. Except turn that off and move that. What you have to do is you have to turn this one off first and then click this. And what I've been doing is stand here, jump, and turn that back on. Jump, and turn that back on, and I go through the floor. That way it's shut. So that's pretty good. That way you don't have to leave it open. Alright, I did some work down here. I went ahead and I got some different things actually uh, put together. I got a lot more iron, um, although I do need a lot more than that. So we over here, we got this nether. That's the entrance. I did get more glowstone. Now you come over here. I did replace the levers with buttons on all the doors. And this looks like it's ready to go. We'll go ahead and get this. Alright, so we hit the button and we come in here. Now as you remember, the old door used to be right here. I went ahead and put a little more space in right here. Got furnace. That's where I have the stone bricks for me to sell at spawn. So I can um, update the village. Update the town. I already claimed 10 spots out of 24. And I also got two more people who want to join the town. Um, so that'll give me another 16 spots that I can claim and I have 555 in my bank. It's 3500 to make a new bank, 20 or 3500 to make a new town, 2500 to claim an outpost, and 2000 to claim a new uh, area. So I went ahead and this is like the only two by one by two picture that there is in this texture pack. The other ones are like banners and other stuff. This is cobblestone, I still need a thing uh, to smelt. I ran out of stuff. I went ahead and got two blocks of diamonds, three diamonds. I'm thinking about making a block of gold RV over on the other side. So I think that would be pretty good. Now, 
for the other part. As you see, this is our theme. We're going and making, uh, we'll probably get rid of that. But we're making a little cavern kind of thing. But down here, over on the right, you can see we have our enchanting table. And then we got the smelter I'm slowly putting back together. It takes string though, and I don't like fighting spiders really. And you can't really make a spawner here because it's uh, it won't work really on this server. So we come over here. As you can see, I need more iron for bars around this place. Now this is going to be our storage room. Now I did find some animals. Animals are very rare in this uh, server. Found one sheep. I got some eggs from somebody and then I got two pigs and brought them down here. And uh, animals no longer climb down ladders. I know before they don't really climb ladders, but if you drop them on a ladder they slowly fall down and they won't climb back up. Now they just stand at the top. So I had, a, I was up with it, break a ladder, go down, break a ladder, go down, break a ladder. You can't break too many because it will take fall damage. Alright, we got another chicken. This is a temporary area though. We are not going to keep the animals here. Are you out? Yep. So uh, all these are going to move to another area. Uh, probably the room about this size too. I'm just going to have all the animals there. And I want another area and make it kind of like an underground forest. It'll be a tree farm. But it'll also be pretty good for all these uh, different animals. And they'll be free. They won't be in a finch. Now, this is what the wall is going to look like. How I have chests all lined up. It's going to go all the way around. See, I didn't complete it yet because I need more iron for trap chests. And then I need uh, more iron to finish off these. Because I cannot block these in before I uh, set down the chest. Or it'll be really hard to get the iron in there. So it's going to end off right here. That's going to be the last set. And I'm going planning, if I ever get cows in here, I'll be able to get some item frames. So I can put an item frame, and each one's going to have a different item in it. So far we got builder chests, regular chests. Got some potatoes, baked potatoes, poison potatoes, carrots, and seeds for these guys. I do have a pretty cool design on the floor. But you can't really see it because all the pigs are here. But the plan is uh, go ahead and cut through another hole somewhere over here. I might cut one through over here on this side or maybe right here. And just kind of make it spread off. It's going to go through this entire mountain. This cave system. And um, I'm not sure if I ever showed you all of this, but this is my actual uh, strip mine down here. Now I strip mine like other people, where you just do U02, then skip two and go to. Baggins started at bedrock, and you found a lot of diamonds, so I'm gonna have to start at bedrock. Usually I start around uh, level 12, though. But, I went ahead and started just clearing it out instead. Now I do have mob spawns on in my town. That is so I can kill mobs down here and stuff. Only bad thing about this is the... Um, the fog. Now, when I get the storage room, I will be emptying all these chests out. But, I'll keep this room exactly like this. And especially when the farms, I'll make new farms and stuff. Now, I won't use this farm. And I won't use these chests or these furnaces or anything. This will just be a cutoff. But I'm going to keep it because this is the original base that I built. I'm just going to make another room for this kind of stuff. Like the beds and everything in another area. But keep these here. Just so you could see what my original design was. 
I did find out if you go slash county map. See, the H is this base. And then plus is each one of us. Now we got one person living over here in this gray area. So we can't claim that. Um, unless they move or they want to join the town. Well, that's kind of the stuff that we're go that's going on right now. I'm really proud of this uh, storage room though. I thought it came out really good. I just like the design of that. It has kind of like that church feel to it to me. And I also took away all the signs. That way we don't have to... I don't really want you to know where you're going. I want if you get lost in here, you're going to be traveling around and you're going to find a lot of cool spots. We might eventually have it a little cave let out at the bottom of the mountain in case someone stumbles across it to walk in and be able to get in here. Because unlike like Juice Craft server and stuff, this server actually has really good protection on the county. So we can deal with that. Going right in the little spider. Try to get some more string. Lizard helmet. That's a great thing for a spider to have. Now next episode I might go down and uh, either do some caving and talk about the future plans of this uh, channel or I'll go ahead and show you all how I've been figuring out how to make the part. This is our Acacia tree by the way. Gaia's looking. If we would have kept those uh, ballerina shoes or whatever they were called, they'd almost have a full outfit. Zombie over there. Now it doesn't have a texture, so that means it's a zombie killer here. Oh shit, what kind of pig is that? Yeah, the diamond pig, but he didn't drop it. Oh shit. Oh, by the way, um,. There's a person on the server on Moonwalk, Moonwalk, and seeing the building right next to us, actually, like our old entrance is literally right there, a little stone. I covered it up, but C was building right here, right after uh, after we got our base started, and she came in a couple days later and started building right here. So we can't go in because of magical spell. We don't want to mess up her area or anything. But she's building this house up here and this house looks amazing. So they got water there, that's kind of crappy. But got stairs. Comes up here. Really like this. You got a little patio. Baggins wants me to teleport to him. Man, that's the fireplace. Someone still got the fire. Little area. There's TPS set. Let's go see what Baggins wants. Alright. He wanted to show us a Mesa biome. Oh, fuck. My, my compass. I need that. Our name's Grappling Hooks now. So. so I got a compass, so I don't need that. Well, over here we might as well get some, uh... Get some of this stuff, actually. Oh. Alright, 
where I can get some of this. This might come in handy. Never know. Especially with the lack of um, sheep until we breed. Until we get a second one, until we can breed. We might have to use this for something. Oh yeah, we need coal. That's good. Alright, for next episode I am planning on actually showing off my uh, a new skin I made. And if you haven't figured it out, I made my Pikachu skin. And that is by all far my trademark skin. So, getting different variants of that skin is what I'm aiming for. So, I did make a few more. I made an, um, an Espeon variant and an Umbreon variant. I made a couple other variants, but I forgot what they were. If you haven't figured out, like, one thing that I think would be kind of cool for my channel is you see, like, B-double-O and everything, and, yeah, that's, they got their skin, and that's trademark, and sometimes they'll change it. I want to use a different skin for every video. Like, I will eventually duplicate the skins. Like, I'll use my original skin every once in a while. But I think it'd be really cool. Just, like, I'll never have the same skin two times in a row in a series. That is kind of, like, my goal. And then you can be kind of known as like the person that has the multi skin or whatever. So if you uh, if you have any suggestions of how you want me to do videos or any way to make the videos better, since I am just starting out. Now my channel used to be an anime channel, and I get pretty good views on the anime videos, but I really want to do this gaming stuff. So if you have any um, criticism that could help. Or any tips go ahead and uh, say them in the comments don't be shy um, also if you like it leave a like subscribe uh, you can go ahead and like me on Facebook follow on Twitter you'll find out when I can when I actually upload videos or any videos that I actually watch that I watch that I liked like B double O or Generic B or Timmy Swift or maybe someone you never heard of that turns out to be really good I know a lot of people haven't heard of Einstein before, or different people like that, or Pungent. If you haven't heard of B Double O, you probably haven't heard of Pungent, or Gude Boulderfist, who created Minecraft, but how his best friend Alk Boulderfist. So there might be a lot of people you've never heard of that uh, do Let's Plays that you might actually uh, want to watch. So you can go ahead and follow on Twitter and like on here any criticism will help any tips on how to if you want me to just build if you want me to do uh, just show off what I build kind of like a tour server kind of thing just let me know what you'd like to see in a let's play I do have plans for a really unique kind of let's play that thing will stand, make my channel stand out however I need a lot of people um, a lot of people's help with that since it's going to be a multi thing and I gotta start try to get the people together I found a few people but I'm gonna need more if I'm gonna to try to get this thing ready I might launch the episode at if I ever get 500 subscribers I think I will launch this uh, idea I have Alright, and then every 100 subscribers, I have 98 right now, every 100 subscribers, I will be getting, uh, giving away a free video game, up to, um, I'll go ahead, up to $80 of value. So, if you want, like, Skyrim, or if you want, like, Skyrim Special Edition, or something like that, or, like, uh, different things like that, and then I'll also get, for every 500, 500, 1,000, 1,500, I'll get rid of a, uh, I'll go ahead and do a really good uh, trade 
value where we go ahead and just uh, give away something worth about 200 bucks. Like maybe for like Call of Duty, we'll give away a Call of Duty care package. Get rid, uh, give away a RC car from Black Ops or the Hellfire drone from the launch of Black Ops 2. Just different prizes like that, um, just for a while. And I do monetize my videos. However, the mo it doesn't really make much because of how many views I get. Like really, right now the only videos I get paid for really are my anime ones. Because those are the only ones that actually pick up views. As you can see, like the difference would be like 500,000 views on my main anime one. Against this, which usually has about 12. But, um, the reason I monetize is because I use 100% of all uh, money I get from monetization goes straight to uh, charity. And the charity that I usually give it to is I'll do child play every once in a while. But I mostly save it up for Zelda Thon. And then that way I can go ahead and give it all to Zelda Thon, whichever they charity they pick for um, that part of the year. And that way their donation would not only be from me, but from everybody who watches my videos. So, um, I don't really plan on making any type of profit on this at all. It's mostly just for fun. For any profit that does get made, I'm going to just give it away. Also, like, if you donate, that's probably where it's going to go. Either donation is probably going to go to charity. It's going to go to buying new video games to give away to you all. Uh, maybe some equipment to make the videos better. I am planning on buying a, uh, a new mic when I get a chance. That'd be pretty good. And then I need a new uh, updated computer so I can do it, so it can look a little bit better. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I think we got enough. <laughs> we got a lot. Alright. So let's go ahead and go to Hama Hama. If you don't know why I say home twice on there, is because you, as a VIP member, I can have up to five homes saved. And I can actually show you a list. I got home, Mesa, Nemi, Sandville, and Skull Spawner. Home is the RV. Mesa is a Mesa biome with a village in it. Nemi is Lady Nemi's place. So I can have, uh, so I can, like, buy stuff from her. Sand Village is a is a little desert that has four villages in it. And then Skelly Spawner is a Skelly Spawner underneath Baggins' house. So we will go ahead and, uh, go in here. I... Okay, hold on. Let's actually... Let's go do a uh, snapshot real quick for the title of the video. The main thing about this video is showing you the farm. Not the farm, the storage room. So we'll just get a snapshot of us in the storage room. It'd be pretty good. Alright, and... Alright, I will see you all later. Please like, favorite, subscribe. And uh, again, any criticism at all will help. Thank you and see you all later.